ways to show numbers. I want to show different ways to show three digits, like in word form would be one of them. This is lesson 9.4. We can show a three digit number with models, with words, or with numerals in the correct place value. We have 100 square, we have four longs of 10, and we have five single units. See that? We have 100, four tens, and five ones. That's 145. 145. We can write it like this. We can show it with models. We can write the words 145. And notice the 45 has a hyphen in it. We can write it as the numeral. A one in the hundreds place, a four in the tens place, and a five in the ones place. See that? Here we have 300s, 100, 200, 300. We have two longs of 10 and four ones. We can write this as 300s, two tens, and four ones. We can write it in word form as 324. And notice the 24 has a hyphen in between it. We don't do that with the hundreds. Do you see that? There's no hyphen for the 100 or 300. It's only for the 24. It's only for the two-digit number, like 24, 45, 53. You would put a hyphen in between the tens and the ones that you write. This would be three in the hundreds place, two in the tens place, and four in the ones place to be 324. Let's try this. We need to circle another way to write each of these numbers. So I've got a bunch of different ones here. So let's do this one first. How many hundreds do we have? 100, 200, 300, 400. So there's four hundreds here. So we know that it's going to be the one that has the four in the hundreds place, don't we? We've got one, two, three, four, five tens. And that fits this one. There's five tens and there's five, six, seven ones. So we could see right away that the other one started with a five when we only had a four in the hundreds place. See that? So we know that this is the right one. 457. Let's try this one. This one says 468. So there should be a four in the hundreds place. Well, they all have a four in the hundreds place. 60, there should be a six in the tens place, shouldn't there? So we know this one doesn't work because it's got an eight in the tens place. And it's supposed to have an eight in the ones place. Well, this has a six in the ones place. It's supposed to end with an eight. So that's not the right one. So we know that that's the right one. It's got a four in the hundreds place, a six in the tens place, and an eight in the ones place. 468. Let's try this one. Seven hundreds, five tens, and five ones. It has to start with a seven in the hundreds place. So we know this isn't the right one because it's got a five in the hundreds place, doesn't it? It says five tens and five ones. This has seven in the tens place. It's supposed to have a five, so that's not the right one. This has seven hundreds, five tens, and five ones, 755. That's the right one. See? Sometimes when a problem is really hard and you don't know which is the right one, you can start getting rid of the ones that you know that it's not. And that's called process of elimination, and that helps you figure out the right one. See? Let's try some problem solving. Which of these represent the same amount? So we need to find something that's the same amount as two hundreds, three tens, and eight ones. And look at our choices here. We have we have to find 200s, 310s, and 8 ones. What would be the same as 238, right? We've got 200s, 210s, and 38 ones. Would that be the same thing as this? There's too many digits in the ones place, isn't there? So if we moved these three tens to the tens place, two tens plus three tens makes five tens. Well, we're not supposed to have five tens. We're supposed to have three tens, aren't we? So this isn't the right one. There's too many tens, right? How about this one? Two hundreds, two tens, and 28 ones. Well, if we regroup, 
these tens from the ones place into the tens place, see, because there's two tens here, and they really don't belong there. If we move it over here, two tens plus two tens is four tens. We're supposed to have three tens. So that doesn't work either. That's not the right one. There's too many tens. And that leaves this one, so it has to be the right answer. And let's check. If we have two hundreds, two tens, and eighteen ones, and we took this one ten and moved it to the tens place, that would make it three tens. And then we'd have eight ones, right? Three tens, eight ones. So yeah, these just weren't regrouped yet, were they? And we could regroup them and find the one that is equivalent. It represents the same amount as this one. See, it just didn't have its tens regrouped correctly. Okay, so we can show a three-digit number by using models. We can actually put it in word form. 145 is word form, 325, that's word form, 468, that's word form, not with the numbers written in it, okay? Like this, it's got to be actually spelled out, so the word seven would have to be S-E-V-E-N, see, for it to be in word form, okay? We can also write the numerals, right? We can write the three-digit numeral like we did at the bottom here, all right? We're going to continue on talking about three-digit numbers and the values of each of those digits. I hope I'll see you in the next video, and I hope this was helpful. Bye.